This is Ron Higgins with NOLA.com and the Times Picune, and it's the Wednesday, May 20th edition of the First Cup of Coffee. The first thing that comes to my mind every morning about college sports, and this morning it's a crossover between the NBA and college basketball because of Kentucky's John Calipari denying that he has no interest in the New Orleans Pelicans job and that he wants to stay at Kentucky. That's fine and well. Uh, I'll say this. He has no interest in the Pelicans job, but as far as an interest in NBA job, that might be another matter. Uh, you know, with, with Cal at this point, I don't think it's so much about the money since I mean, I mean, I, the Pelicans were offering less money than, than Cal would make at Kentucky. I think at this point for Cal, it's about if he gets to the NBA, will he have control of player personnel decisions? And obviously that's not going to be the case if he went to New Orleans because Dale Demps, the GM, makes those decisions. And Cal wouldn't have control of that in New Orleans. That's not to say elsewhere he wouldn't have control. Also, I think he'd like to go somewhere where he felt like he had a chance to get to the playoffs immediately with a pretty good team like, say, you know, Chicago, you know, had an opening. Uh, you know, he might look at that because you know, he has another one of his former players there, Derrick Rose, just like he has Anthony Davis in New Orleans. I mean, there's a lot of places Cal has former players at, but Derrick Rose was one of his favorite players. Coach, he coached him at Memphis, went to a Final Four. Uh, but I think one thing that Cal also has to consider, too, is uh, when you look at his time at Kentucky, six seasons, three Final Fours, and having to basically revamp the roster every year because of the one-and-done rule and the way he takes advantage of that rule. But it, obviously you do that every year. That's an incredible recruiting strain that absolutely has to tire you out because there's no wiggle room in Kentucky. You have to win. Uh, it's tradition there. The fans demand it. I mean, that's what you paid the big bucks for Kentucky to win. You're paid to get to the Final Four every year, and I'm sure there were some people disappointed this season when Kentucky won 38 straight games and lost in the final four semis to Wisconsin. So, understandably, there's that all that pressure in the Kentucky. I almost think that he'd have less pressure in the NBA almost than, say, he has in Kentucky. Uh, will he ever go to the NBA and leave Kentucky? I think eventually he will because, you know, he, he'll uh, – he likes to coach basketball and, and – in the NBA, it's basically coaching basketball and in and, and, and person in you know personalities, and he does that at Kentucky right now, handle personalities. But I don't know if the you know the pressure would be the same in the NBA, Kentucky. It sounds crazy that that's the truth. This is Ron Higgins with Noel.com and Ty Pecune. That's the first cup of coffee. We'll see you tomorrow.